2016, and boy am I glad to be rid of last year after how shitty the last fourth of that year was, so hopefully this year's gonna be better than that was, because that was awful. Anyway, um, I actually was planning on doing this last night, and then didn't get around to it, so I'm gonna do it today, but, um, I decided I was gonna do the New Year's tag, so I'm just gonna do that, so <laughs> without further ado, let's get started. The first question on here, I've got my laptop on my lap here. Uh, what is a favorite memory you have or favorite thing that happened from the past year? Well, depends. Uh, the wording of that question feels like it could be interpreted a few ways. Well, right off the top of my head, I'm going to say as a YouTuber, my favorite thing that happened was no doubt hitting my first big milestone of a thousand subscribers. Uh, on a personal milestone, well, not really so much mine is family related, but had another one of my nephews be born last year. That was pretty good, especially since he's just a little doll. I freaking love him and trips me out how much he looks like Sammy did at that same age. Just like, wow, those family genetics are so strong there and they just make really pretty babies. They should have like a million more because they're so pretty. And let's see. Um, I don't know that this is so much one event as a meshing of many little events all together that created a bigger event all together, but probably all the phone calls and Skype sessions and just everything with Dave throughout the year just. Oh my gosh, just feeling that wanted and knowing somebody wanted to spend basically all her time with me around the clock like that and didn't get bored of me somehow. I was just like, that was really cool and hopefully looking forward to much more of that happening this year too. Um, let's see, is there anything else that really stands out about last year? Um... Ultimately, last year wasn't that eventful, so it's kind of hard drawing things from a hat, basically. Um, so, those are the ones that jumped to mind immediately, anyway. I'm sure there was probably more, but like I said, those are the ones that jumped to mind. Number two, what was your biggest beauty change in the last year? I don't really know how to answer that one, especially since I'm not, like, a beauty blogger really or anything um well i mean depending on how i answer that i don't know um well i mean right off the bat towards the beginning of the year i chopped my hair and i've kept it short all year which props to me for actually having some consistency for once since usually i like do it once and then get lazy about it and don't do the upkeep and it grows back out and i hate it because it's long and i hate my hair long and so there's that and then i've been thinking about how to answer that one for a while and i think that maybe one potential answer to that question would be just learning to become more comfortable in my own skin. I mean, there's still a long, long way to go on that front, but I'm actually making baby steps and strides in that direction, so for me that's pretty massive since for once I don't feel like the hideous gargoyle that I was pretty much always convinced that I looked like, so that's, that's something. Um, yeah, um, those are the only two things I can really think of to answer that question with, ultimately, so, yeah, if that's not the kind of answer you're looking for here, sorry, I don't really have any other answer. Uh, number three, what is something new that you tried in the past year? Tried curry for the first time. <laughs> I don't think that's the kind of answer you're looking for, though. Um, hmm. I tried working with clay for the first time. It didn't exactly work out very well, but it's something I tried. You never said I had to be good at it in that question. You just said something new that I tried. So that was something new that I tried. Uh, number four, what was your favorite song? 
Well, see, that's, like, always a tricky question in these things because, like, my all-time favorite song stays the same year to year. That does not change. But if you're talking about, like, new discovery song of the year that's, like, a modern song, I would have to say... Hmm. Probably... Dollhouse by Melanie Martinez. Actually, the entire Crybaby album. Just gonna throw it out there. Um, yeah. Number five, favorite trend. That one, at least, I can give a pretty clear-cut answer on. Um, that would have to be the trend of modest clothing coming back into fashion. That is a huge one for me. Because I was actually able to go buy clothing again for once for the first time in ages. Because usually things have too low of a neckline, or they're too short, or just in general they show too much skin and I'm not comfortable with it. So it's often gone years and years without me buying a single new piece of clothing just because apparently my values do not align, <coughs> excuse me, do not align with that of modern day fashion. So, doesn't surprise me, but at the same time, makes life difficult for me unless I shop only at, like, vintage stores or make my own clothing, which I do both those things, but still. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I was loving those dresses by, what was it, Morona or Madonna or whatever the hell brand it was at Target that was doing the nice high-necked dresses that aren't short or anything. They're wonderful, and oh my gosh, I hope they have more of those. I will buy one in every color. I would fill my closet with those if I knew they were going to make that many of them. <laughs> uh, number six. Did you have any New Year's resolutions, and did you stick to them? Seriously? I'm just going to point you in the direction to all of the goals list videos from last year. And leave it at that. Number seven. What is one goal you have for the new year? Well, I'm going to post a new updated goals list probably immediately after this one. So I don't know if you want me to come up with a random one from that. Or just in general. I'm just going to say wait for that video. It, most of it's the same shit as last year, but there's some new things and there were some things dropped from it. it it's a little different, but yeah. Uh, number eight. What is one regret you have from the past year? One regret. Hmm. Huh. <laughs> I'm just trying to think. It's like... I, like, preview looked over these questions earlier and tried to think so I wouldn't just be sitting here going, uh, uh, um, uh, I don't know, for, like, half an hour on each question. Crap, I forgot what I was gonna come up with for this one. It wasn't anything massive, I don't think. Um, wow, I'm totally blanking. Hmm. Oh, I remember what it was. Okay. Uh, probably the one regret that I had from the last year, and it's not exclusive to last year. This goes for just, in general, my patterns of things. Having a goal to do something, but then the second that I failed to meet it in any way, shape, or form, just bailing on it altogether. That is a horrible habit of mine I've had my whole life. This even, like, followed me through school, like, every year I'd go back to school and would always be like, okay, so this year I'm actually going to do my homework, and would keep up with it for a couple weeks till I'd miss a single assignment, and that would generally be, generally be the last time I would turn anything in for the rest of the year. I'm not even joking. I'm the kid that literally failed out of school every fucking year. That's why it took me out until I was 25 to graduate high school. So, just saying. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, that. But, um, yeah, that is probably the one big regret because I never mean to bail on things like that. I always intend to uphold them regardless and pick myself back up even if I fail a little bit. But more often than not, I just feel so defeated by failing at all that I just bail altogether on things. And it sucks because I never mean to do that just happens 
and then I kick myself that much more for realizing it happened again, and that I did the same thing again. So let's see if I can be any better about that this year. Chances are it'll probably be the same old story it always is, but you never know. And let's see, last question. What is something you are looking forward to in the new year? Well, there's a couple new family members on the way that uh, they'll both be born in a couple of months here. Um, I don't know when exactly I'll get to personally meet them since they'll both be born out of state, but still something to look forward to. Um, looking forward to seeing how this chan uh, channel continues to grow. Like, I would be very excited to see if maybe this year I hit 2,000, like I hit 1,000 subscribers last year. Um, what else am I looking forward to this year? Um, crud, I had one other big blanket goal when I was thinking of preview answers for these. Um, what was it? Well, now I'm blanking on it, and I don't feel like keeping you guys here waiting all night for me to think of it, because I did come up with a couple things, so there you go. Anyway, if anybody wants to do this tag, feel free. If you do end up doing it, let me know in the comments, and I'll go check out your video after you upload yours. And yeah, as usual, if you liked this video, click the like button. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe. Leave comments down below. Until next time.